Hello guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So this is a chariots game, and I believe it was created before Dandelion, so I'm pretty sure this one got pretty popular once Dandelion came out and people started discovering chariots. Um... I played the demo of this once, and it was a very long time ago, like it was before I was playing Dandelion on my own time, and I've actually gotten pretty far in Dandelion, but I haven't completed all the endings yet in order to get the true ending, uh, but I don't really know what to expect from this, so I just know it's an otome game, and there's various characters that are already built into the game. But you can get, um, download content for this game. Uh, I was gonna get all of it because there was a sale for it, but then it ended up being really expensive when purchased with the game, because it was over a hundred dollars, I think, and I was like, uh, no, I'm not gonna spend that much on, on a my game. That's a little, that's a little, uh, much <laughs> for me considering <laughs> but uh i did get two individuals i i don't remember what their names were um i wonder if it'll say in here um i think it was red and yeon ho who were the people that I downloaded, I think. And then Lance, Tay, and Yuri are just automatically in it. Uh, there's more boys, but you have to download them as download content, which, ugh, I don't like how that works, to be honest. I, I just, ugh. I'm one of those individuals who would rather have, like, the full game and not have to download like any extras in order to enjoy it. Uh, except for like maybe a few things that don't necessarily change the game like too much, but add a little bit something extra to it. Like like actual download content is supposed to be rather than like um, perp like enhancing the game like a whole bunch by allowing you to just have a whole bunch. Like I, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I just, I'm just really picky when it comes to download content, when it comes to games, because if it's anything like Destiny, <laughs> then I have no interest. Like, I haven't played Destiny at all, I haven't purchased it whatsoever, but what I've heard is that in order to even play the game and have any fun with it, you basically, like, have to purchase the base game and then you have to purchase all, all this download content in order to even remotely enjoy it and I think that's just stupid like that's obviously a money grab and I'm not going after it it's ridiculous but I did a little bit when it came to this because I was like okay I don't know how many guys you're gonna start with when it comes to the game but I should at least have like a few choices so Originally, it would have just been Yuri, Tay, and Lance, but I got Red and Yeonho, so... Yeah, there's more. I think there's like 12 guys, and but you have to download and pay for pretty much most of them, which is gross, I find, but that's just my own opinion, I guess. That's probably why they made Dandelion and made it so like it was pretty much a full game right off the bat. No, wait, yeah, it was a full game. It was an entire full game where you had all the characters and you just played it. Like, that was better because then it wasn't so gross when it came to money grubbing. But whatever, whatever. Enough of my complaints when it comes to the tactics of peoples and how they produce and sell their games. Let's, 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 let's start. What is the name of your first doll? Uh... That's my name, so I'll put that, I guess. Select a piece. Uh. That's the only one I can do. I can't do these ones? I, okay, I guess I'll go with this. I don't know what this means, but uh, okay. Tell me your name. Airy? Uh. Well, 
I could go with the original name. Uh, I could. Or I could just create my own. Uh, it's probably just easier to go with the original name for now. Let's just do that. Prolog! Alright. Blinding white light fills my sight. My arms and legs feel lighter, and soon I feel my body hover. Where am I? Maybe in a dream? I gather the strength to walk forward despite my feet barely touching the ground. No matter how far I go, white space continues without end. I open my eyes, but can't see or hear anything. I can tell there's been reused music from this game over to Dandelion, because this is with the wizard in Dandelion. Absolutely for sure, no doubt about it. I stop and look around. This place is so pure and clean, but for some reason I feel sad. This place surrounded by glimmering light white snow. Oh, what? This place surrounded by glimmering light white as snow is breathtakingly beautiful, but such extreme beauty can only belong in another world. I see something blurred far away. I couldn't quite... I couldn't see properly because of the glaring light coming at me from all directions. But I could make out a small person, and another slightly shorter. Two people? Are you really okay with that? Yes. Do you believe? Who are they? What are they talking about? I do not know. Your answer does not match your actions. Ah, uh, alright. That is what suits you right now. Do as you please. Except, remember that you are responsible for the consequences of your choice. Do not forget that everything was done solely by your own will. I understand. Now then, take this. The tall man hands over something. And the man who took it looked down for a while and slowly turned to my side. His lips seemed to move a little. What? He seems to be talking to me. Let's go a little closer. Suddenly, fierce wind started to rip through. The wind seemed to will me out of this place. Hold on, not yet! Wait, I haven't... Along the wind, a mirad of feathers flew around and blocked my sight. I parted through the wind blowing towards me and made my way to him with all the strength I had. The moment I thought I finally reached him, I fell into a bottomless pit along with countless feathers. Ugh. I was woken up by the noisy alarm clock. Is it morning? Ugh, but I think I was dreaming about something just until now. I keep tracing my memory, but still fuzzy from sleep, I cannot remember. I don't dream often, so the feeling after having one feels strange. I can definitely relate to this, except my dreams aren't fantastical like that. My dreams are usually pretty, pretty violent, and lots of death. Lots of death happens with those. So usually I'm pretty thankful when I don't dream of anything. The most recent dream was... Right, it was then. It was when Grandpa died, about three years ago from now. The day I fell asleep, tired from remembering my Grandpa, who was no longer by my side, I had a dream about waking up to a peaceful morning with him. In my dream, I saw him smiling and waking me up, as always, telling me, You'll be late if you don't get up now! And the next morning, when I realized that his smile was all just a dream. Oh no, this won't do. Let's just think happy thoughts in the morning. Anyways, it's definitely been a long time since I had a dream. I drew the curtains as soon as I got out of bed. The window was slightly wet from the rain last night, but as a result, the sky was incredibly clear. Wow, the weather is so good today. Grandpa, isn't today perfect to hang out with the laundry? <laughs> I stare at the small framed picture on the desk, which is blurred out just like every classical anime anything. This house used to be the place where two people, my grandpa and I, used to live. He took care of me instead of my parents who went abroad for research. I listened to him more after I grew up because I lived with him since I was little. Most pictures are of grandpa and I. Grandpa's smile was in all the pictures pinned at the board above the desk. So, right over here. I cannot even begin to describe the amount of shock I received when he passed away from a chronic illness. Days passed by with me constantly passing out from crying so hard. Unable to bear seeing me like this, my parents suggested that I move to the States with them, but I shook my head. I didn't want to be a burden to their research, but more importantly, I couldn't leave this house. This house itself was full of memories I had with Grandpa. She's being stubborn. It's serious, honey. She's stubborn like her grandfather. She won't budge. Are you sure you'll be alright? 
Please don't be like that. You don't have to worry about our work. No, it, it's really fine. All my friends are here. I want to graduate in Korea. If you say so, all right. As they commonly say, no parent can persuade a child otherwise. I saw them off and their disappointed smiles and I came, and I became alone in this house. The house is a bit too big to live in by myself. I slowly looked around the living room. Grandpa, it's already been over a year. Time flies by really fast, doesn't it? What do you mean? Okay, hold on a second. So one minute, it's been three years since she had a dream, and that was shortly after her grandpa passed away. And now it's been over a year. What happened? <laughs> what, what the hell happened? What? what? I, maybe it'll say. Around the house, there are still many traces of him other than the pictures. I'm living to the fullest just by myself, so don't worry. At first, I wasn't used to being alone, so every night I blankly stared inside the empty house. And every time, it just made me feel more and more lonely. But now everything is alright. Because I have those kids. Kids? Uh. What? The f that was a uh, those are the boys in the menu those are the dolls oh no do the dolls come to life oh shit that's what happens isn't it i see the desk muddled muddled with diaries and pens and on the shelf next to it were my most cherished treasures they are the joys of my life and my precious friends who gave me back my smile. Oh no, now this is starting to take a really dark turn in my mind. Her friends are her dolls that she keeps on her shelf by her desk where her diary is. And they're gonna come to life and they're gonna try and woo her and live in her house. And she's gonna have to like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? She's gonna live in a house with all boys. Oh no, this is going to be so similar to Dandelion. <laughs> oh no, except, with, except it's not animals, it's dolls. Oh no. Oh god, okay. Uh, give me back my smile. Yeah, those are the dolls. Oh god, this is sturdy. This is actually really creeping me out already. Because there are people... I used to follow someone on DeviantArt back when I was actually on there. When... I'm not on there anymore, really, but... Um, they used to make dolls that were very, like, anime... Anime style, in quotations, like this. But they were also, like, really lifelike. And all I can think of right now is that and them coming to life. And just, it's... Oh my god, it's weirding me out. It's so hardcore right now. <laughs> Like, oh my god, no! This is like the beginning of a horror story, except it's not. It's an Otome game that's not horror. This is not a horror Otome game, so like... Oh no. Oh god, this might be bad. This is gonna get weird. Hey everyone, had a good night's sleep? Mom's right, I really am a carbon copy of Grandpa. He really loved books, and it was his hobby to collect antique books, so the house always smelled of all kinds of books. And in my case, it was my hobby to collect dolls. Yeah, I see that. I, I see that. Crobe Doll is the company that produces these dolls. I called it the company that gives dolls souls. The first day I got to know about Crobe Doll through the internet, I had this intense feeling. After that day, I started collecting the allowance my parents sent me. And finally, one day, as I desperately hoped for, I got my first doll. He died after I bought my first doll, and that's when I devoted myself more to collecting dolls. Oh, she's talking about a grandpa. I was like, what? One of the dolls died? What? How? <laughs> I'm too focused on the dolls coming to life. Even though I'm so sure that's what's gonna happen. Collecting dolls became more important to my life because I was left alone in this huge empty house. I ended up getting four more dolls, and now I have five in total. Oh, jeez. This is just making me really, really sad for this individual. She doesn't seem to have any friends. The only living relative that she has in the country is dead. And he died like three years ago. And she collects dolls. 
in order to fill the void. I'm sorry. This kind of hurts me a bit because it just, it's really sad how that is. Though I completely understand, it's just, oh god. They were quite expensive to buy for the average student, so I had to cut back on other expenses. Oh no, I, I, oh. I don't have any business, no! Oh, okay. See, it all was red hair. This is just like dandelion, except different. Hello, warrior. Earth is safe today all because of you. I'm in the hair of a red-haired doll. Meeting Red was special. People were a bit surprised when Crobodol announced the action hero type doll Red in their new release conference. Corbidol has always been known for their charming and mature male, male dolls. Amongst all the worry, Carbidol, Crobodol recruited testers for Red, and luckily I was selected. When my name was announced, I couldn't believe my ears. But unfortunately, after the conference, Red was not officially released. They only chose one tester to give this doll for free, and that was me. It's still a shame that they did not release the doll afterwards. It would have been nice for him to have gained popularity and be officially released, but as a result, I was the only person in the world who owned Red. But I can't help but feel gloomy every time I look at him. That's just... You should just feel special that you own a doll that Crobodol didn't actually release. Like, I would feel honored to have the only fucking copy. Like, dude, that's pretty sweet. But, you know, you know, whatever. I guess it's all up to you. I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, see a doll with brown hair. Look at the weather today. It makes me feel better just by looking. I feel like I'm looking at you. I raise the brunette doll's hand and wave. There's a lot of backstory behind how I was able to get Tay. When Crobodol first released Tay, his popularity was beyond imagination. Being limited edition along with having a dandy and handsome face brought out an explosive response from the fans. As a result, I failed to purchase it. I could only get him used because he was limited edition, but I'm fine with it. Okay. That, okay, if the dolls come to life and she could only get him used, that just makes my mind go straight into the gutter. And that, I, I, okay, just, uh, all right, okay. Okay. Good morning, you are cute as usual. The doll with its tiny, delicate face and bashfully gathered hands is Yi, Yunho, Kro, Yi, Yunho. I think is how you pronounce that. Crobodol's prototype. The day I met him, I was surfing the internet as usual after coming home. But then I saw Yunho being sold in an auction for a ridiculous price, and without hesitating, I clicked the bidding button. Later, when I opened the delivered box containing Yunho, I unconsciously screamed out of happiness. What kind of person was the owner selling such a pretty doll at such a cheap price? Oh, you didn't mean crazy expensive, you meant crazy cheap. Okay. Yunho seems like he will never betray me, even if I love him unconditionally. And that is probably the biggest reason why I bought him. Oh, I guess we're learning about their personalities in this, which makes sense. So he is the cute, bashful, loyal type. He's the popular whore. And Red is a courageous individual who's a one and only. Okay. What about the one with black hair? I see the tallest doll among the five. The tall, black-haired doll with a slender body and a model-like feel is Yuri. Unlike the existing dolls in Crobodol's adult line, he seems realistic and looks like a mature adult male. The number of visitors still explodes when I post pictures of you on the blog. It was Yuri who saved my blog from wasting away to rot. I received a lot of comments when I uploaded pictures of him. Whatever. I think, I think like that, too. What? I think like that too. Oh, I, I don't get it. Okay, whatever. His broad shoulders and beautiful figure oozes sexiness. It's as if he's telling us with his body, I am cool. I doubt more explanation is needed. Okay, so he's the calm, cool, collected type who is also fairly popular because of it. Okay, silver. Hi, young master. This doll standing here flaunting his long, shiny silver hair is Lance, the first doll I ever bought. Lance is the one doll that always stood by me when Grandpa was alive. Wow, a, that was a short description. 
I did not get much out of you when it came to personality, other than being like a princely type. All right, well, whatever, let's stop looking. Money was a bit tight from the expense, but I have zero regrets. <sighs> anyway, the new shoes should arrive today. To whom should I put them on first? I straighten myself and stretch. The five dolls watch in silence. Although they are lifeless dolls, it has become a habit to talk to them like this. Darn, I'll be late. I have to get ready. The clock was heading towards eight. I picked up my uniform, sprawled on the floor, and was heading out the door when I suddenly halted. I hurried back to my room and said goodbye to the dolls. Watch the house, everyone! I'll be back! They said nothing in return, but I said bye as if they were real people. Uh, May made it. I was able to make it on time after catching the last bus. I was in ruins after surviving the crowded bus, but all that matters is that I wasn't late. I'm really going to wake up early starting from tomorrow, otherwise I'll die like this! Okay, okay, so backtrack a minute. She, okay, her grandpa died three years ago. Um, she started collecting dolls shortly before he died and continued collecting dolls obsessively after. Uh, she treats her dolls like they're real because she's just so fucking lonely because her grandpa died who's her only living relative in Korea. Holy shit, that sounds really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, that just sounds so bad. And I don't mean that as like a bad plot point or anything. Like it makes sense for Otome games to be like that, but like that just sounds so bad, as in mental health bad. Like, holy fuck. I pledge this every day, but I've never actually done it. Oh? Did the UFO rise from the west today? Fix your hair. Although, it really is a talent having your hair stick up like that in different directions every morning. Huh? Oh. Hi. Good morning. I sit on my desk, pressing my stuck-up hair back to my head. She approaches the seat next to me. The way she sweeps her shiny, voluptuous curls, or the way she drops her eyes, reek of elegance. All you have to see is her fearless voice and confident moves to notice her self-assured personality. Oh, you seem like a bitch. I don't know if you will be a bitch, but you seem like you could potentially be one. Good morning to you, too. What do you do every- What do you do every night that makes you barely come here on time? Do you have a secret boyfriend or something? <laughs> well, I do have doll boyfriends. Oh, god, no. You did not just say that. No. No. That is not okay. Like, I understand having crushes on fictional characters and being a little bit obsessed with them. That's kind of normal in this day and age, and I don't see too much wrong with that, as long as you don't get too obsessed and crazy. But, doll boyfriends? Doll boyfriends. Really? No. Last night I was so absorbed with taking pictures of the dolls that I went to bed at dawn. Hey, I hear another voice behind me. It is a boy! Okay. I think. Uh, no, never mind, it's a girl. God! I turned around to see a girl with short boyish hair right behind my back. Girls in the class stirred as they saw her standing slanted with her hands in her pockets. Hi, Shinobi! Soi, Shinobi, and I are called the trio in this class. Soi and Shinobi were... Soi. Soi? Is that how you say it? Soi? Okay, I don't know. And Shinobi were childhood friends since they were little, and I became friends with them after I entered this academy. I never thought I'd be friends with them at first because of their gorgeous and showy looks. Yeah, that's a good point. Especially when compared to how bland you look like every Otome character ever. But, you know. Yeah, at first. So, what do you think? What? Sorry, I missed it. Say that again. Hey, I was talking here. Are you staring at nothing again? Anyways, about this here, which design looks better to you? So I handed me a magazine. Top five cute dresses and trends for girls. The gorgeous model posing in a pretty dress looks familiar. The name of the model written in the bottom left of the page looks familiar too. Shinobi. Ever since Shinobi was street, was street cast, she has often missed classes for modeling work. 
Zoe tells me she has a lot of fans and is quite popular nowadays, but Shinobi herself doesn't seem to be into those things. Anyways, Shinobi, you're everywhere on the magazines nowadays. Isn't it hard? A bit. It's okay, though. Ah, <sighs> you have it tough. You should have said no like I did. Soi was besides Sh Shinobi when she was cast, and Soi was offered too, but refused right at the spot. If you model, you won't be able to meet cute male... But what? Oh, okay. If you model, won't you be able to meet cute male models? I asked her why later on, and she replied like this. Tisk tisk, you have a long way to go, my friend. Modeling isn't it. I can't be satisfied with just looking. I want something on a higher level. Yes, I'd rather be a designer who can touch the models as much as she wants. After that, I didn't listen carefully. I don't blame you. God, it's so bright. I was wondering why today was so quiet. She turned her head towards the flashlight. Flashlight? Did I read that right? Countless phones are flashing through the windows on the hallway. It's a sight that has become common due to Shinobi's rising popularity. Everyone seems to have waited for this moment. They're more desperate because Shinobi missed class a lot last week. Even I just barely said hi at the cafeteria last week. Hey, why don't you come to school that day if you weren't going... Oh wait, what? Hey, why did you come to school that day if you weren't going to come to class? To buy milk. <laughs> that face! Oh god, that's perfect! I love it! That's beautiful! Yes! Even she's like, really? There's one that's only sold here. Yep. Right. Oh yeah, speaking of the cafeteria, I almost had a heart attack this morning. A heart attack? Why? Ugh, okay, listen. We were heading to the cafeteria because Shinobi said she wanted strawberry milk. Ugh, do you really have to drink two of those in the morning? In front of you. What? In front of you. What's in front of- Ah! Oh god, you're creepy. You're actually one of the characters that I can download as a as a as a partner now that I think about it. I I noticed that. It's morning and already it's noisy. Mr. Mr. Yijin, uh what 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 is that? You've been screaming and it's loud. I can still hear you without you yelling. What's the big fuss about? Blood! 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 You're covered in blood! And what's in your hands? Is that a knife? Is it? Call 911. What? Oh, this. It's nothing. This is here. Yeah! Get that away from me! Huh? It's. Ketchup. Yes, ketchup. I wanted a burger for breakfast, but it was too big to eat. So I cut it with a surgical knife. Some got on my clothes. Oh. Oh god, you're creepy as fuck, dude. I know that's the point, but... Oh, dear. Why are you guys standing like that? Or do you guys want some? Okay, I'll share. Follow me to the infirmary. Oh, and Shinbi, since you're coming anyways, I would love to have a serious chat about your fibula. Oh, what? Oh, that reminds me. I was on a diet. <laughs> we'll, we'll be off then. Adieu, Mr. Yujin. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really almost had a heart attack. Why did he have to eat a burger in the morning? And... So he punched the... So he punched the table. Why in the world did he use a surgical knife to cut food? How do they take care of the equipment here? I mean, why is there a surgical knife in the first place? We don't even learn anatomy. Ugh, really? I was so... I was crazy to have had a crush on him just for his looks. Yeah, I, 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 I'd say so, Jesus. Weren't cute looks all that mattered? What are you talking about? Good looks are just necessary for starting love. What comes next is more important for true love. Listen carefully, appearance is simply the first gate guys have to pass. The second gate is being normal. Mr. Yujin failed to pass the second one. I nod. I agree that he's not normal. So, do you know what the third gate is? What is it? It's manners. Manners! Oh, but if they don't pass the fourth gate, all of those are useless. The fourth one is... Zoe's eyes glimmered. Capability! But again, if they can't pass the fifth gate, it's just like spraying soy sauce onto a beautifully cooked steak. The fifth gate is... Hey, you listening? 
I just hope that someone manages to pass all those gates before she becomes a wrinkly grandmother. Now that I think about it... Yeah? The school nurse was looking for you. Oh, Shinbi. It's Shinbi, not Shinobi. Okay. But you're just... Ah, I love you. You're just so cute looking. And it's... Ah, you... Eh. Yeah, I love this one. But... I, mm, I don't know. I like a, I like androgynous women. They're really, they're really, 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 really freaking sexy. Like Ruby Rose. Oh my god. Oh, yes. I love her a lot. <laughs> anyway. L what? Oh right. He said you stop. You should stop by the infirmary. What? Thanks for telling me so quickly. <laughs> no biggie, Miss Health Commissioner. Have a safe trip. I wish you good luck. Oh, all right, all right. Thank you. I stood up weakly. Ah, uh, as I walked around in my thoughts, I quickly arrived in front of the infirmary. I should listen to Soy and stop staring at nothing. I tapped both my cheeks with my hands. You looked for. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um. That's an interesting sight. <laughs> oh, Beatrice. Look at that beautiful fourth lumbar vertebrae. Oh, Beatrice. How can you be this enchanting? There cannot be another woman more beautiful than you. <laughs> the handsome guy was embracing a skeleton model and ardently confessing his love in the morning. He's so good looking. What a shame. There are more than a few people who are blessed with good looks but miserably fail at using them. Would others think this of me playing with dolls? Let's make sure no one knows. My belief that some hobbies should remain a secret was not wrong. Mr. Yujin, I heard you asked for me. He looked at me with bitter eyes for interrupting their private quality time. You look dandy as always. Just the looks. Um, oh, a student. I asked for you some time ago, and now here you are. He had me run errands that often, but still doesn't know my name. He doesn't know the name of most kids, oh, but he did seem to remember Soe and Shinbi's names. Probably because... they're pretty? Of course his idea of beauty is a bit different from those of others. Uh, sorry, I forgot. Hmm, well, alright. Move that guy to the prep room. He pointed at the upper body anatomy model he frequently used during classes. His name was, I think... Christopher. Whenever I ran errands, he often told me all kinds of stories. One of them was about Christopher. Christopher is apparently Beatrice's half-brother. Mr. Eugen is honestly annoyed with him, but he takes care of him because Beatrice adores him. He's just as fucking fucked up as you are! Holy shit! Such a tear-jerking story. Ugh, I don't think I can carry this alone. Although the model was just the upper body, it was too heavy for a girl to carry alone. I picked the model up in quite an unattractive pose. He didn't give me a single glance despite me struggling to pick it up. We, well, Mr. Eugen, I'll be heading out. Oh, Beatrice, how can you have such beautiful shoulder blades? How can you seduce me like this? I already adore every single particle of you. I should close the door when I head out. Oh, Lord. That's, uh... Okay! We've got some very interesting characters that you would obviously see in anime. Some kids who were passing by heard his voice through the open door and started whispering. Some argued that it didn't matter because he looks cute. If I'm not to ruin my life with just one choice, I would quit thinking that. Someone else said that he's too creepy and asked if he's not crazy. Hmm, I agree. Ugh, heavy. Christopher, I mean, this model was indeed too heavy for a girl to carry. The only reason why I can manage to carry it is because my trained arm muscles are used to carrying two kilogram dolls every day. Uh, that's not even a lot! You don't have trained arm muscles! That's... that's nothing! Ugh, so many boys pass by, but no one even looks. No one notices me because I'm too ordinary anyways. Things would be different for Soe and Shinbi. Soe would have shoved the boys around like a queen, and for Shinbi, girls would have volunteered to help. <laughs> I smirked at imagining all that. I don't really feel better, though. I agree, too, that their looks attract people. Oh no, recess will be over soon. I should hurry up. I'm here! Guys, I'm back! Ah, I'm tired. I throw myself into the sofa without even taking my uniform off. 
As I buried myself in the comfy sofa, I felt as if all my sore muscles were screaming. God, my shoulders. Tomorrow I'm definitely not going even t Tomorrow I'm definitely not going, even if Mr. Eugen asks for me. All I do is suffer! I turned around on the sofa. As usual, I blankly stared at the ceiling. There's so much to do, but I don't even want to move a finger. That's me, constantly. Absolutely constantly. Like, I have an entire sink full of dishes that have been there for, like, longer than I would care to admit, and I still haven't done them. And that's because I don't ever want to move. Ever. Though I'm bouncing up and down in my chair as we speak because I have ADHD. <laughs> Irony. I have to take out the trash and wash my uniform, but I don't want to move at all. I overworked myself today. I ran in the morning so I wouldn't be late. I carried around a heavy model and I even survived the hellish cafeteria during lunch. I just want to rest and sleep like this. But the list of chores kept swimming in my head so I couldn't just stay still. Ugh, I can't just lie down like this. Let's finish cleaning quickly and then lie down. I gathered my sluggish strength and stood up. This house Grandpa left me was too big to live by myself. An educator and a book lover, Grandpa had many books. He moved to large and larger houses to keep all those books and eventually settled in this mansion. That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> when Grandpa, oh, when Grandma was alive, they often fought over those books. Even I never saw all the books in the house, and there were rooms I couldn't enter because of them. Thanks to them, cleaning was always difficult. But I have no intention of throwing them away. Even if Grandpa passed away, since his memories are in those books, they are precious to me as well. Shall we start with the living room? I took off my uniform and got the vacuum cleaner. Huh? Was someone expected? Who is it? Delivery. Delivery? Oh, I was expecting something. Thank you. As soon as I got the package, I headed to my room. Yay, I've been waiting for this a long time. In the box was a splendid handmade suit and a pair of black boots. They were no bigger than my hands, but were as intricate as those of humans. Hmm, well I can always clean later. Doll fans have different priorities from normal people. Yeah, I'd say so. If you buy something new, you naturally have to set something... You naturally have to set everything else aside and try it on the doll and take pictures. I lay down the dolls from the shelf and try this and that on them. Pretty as expected. The wait was worth it. The room quickly turned into a mess while I dressed the dolls into pretty clothes. I long forgot I had been cleaning just a while ago. I drown in my own thoughts as I look around the room full of doll props. Other people will find it strange that I play with dolls even though I'm not a child. If they see a grown-up student still collecting dolls, they'll think she's a juvenile. And if they find out the dolls are quite, are quite expensive, they'll think it's more bizarre. Yeah! Yeah, that's my thoughts. Like, I like the idea of them. I think it's interesting, and I think it's a cool hobby, but if you get so obsessed with it where you start treating them like real people and not like in replacing them with that void that's inside you then that's when I start having a problem with it I don't care what it is if you start doing that that's not good that's r that's a step towards the wrong direction of healing and such anyway but I don't think I'm weird, so I have no desire to be understood by others. Which is probably why you have very few friends, and why you don't really seem to connect with the friends you have in the school. Which are only two. Sometimes it gets a bit uncomfortable and lonely, but I don't have much problem with making excuses like now. But if there's one thing that bothers me, it's not being able to tell my friends. Soli and Shinbi would, and Shinbi would never guess this side of me. I thought of the friends who are always by my side. Oh, clearly you haven't had them over before then, when it comes to your room at least. If you haven't even- if they don't know anything about the dolls. So, that just goes to show what your relationship is like with your friends that you have at school. Alright. I put the dolls on the shelf and plopped down on the bed. Hey guys, if I tell Zoe and Shinbi the truth, what would they say? The dolls silently look at me. Uh, well, I've gotten this far anyways. All I have to do is keep up like this. I stretch as far as I can on purpose to shake off all the worries. After stretching my muscles, I suddenly feel the fatigue flood over me. I have to... finish... cleaning. <laughs> ah, it's too loud. 
I unconsciously groped for the alarm clock by the bed. It's 5 a.m. It was long before the alarm rang. I must have fell asleep. I slowly get up from bed. Ugh, I must have really overworked my body yesterday. My shoulder still hurts. I felt stiffer than usual for waking up early. So noisy in the morning. <sighs> Should I sleep more? Anyways, is there construction going on around the house? Why is it so noisy today? What? Wait, the sound is coming from the kitchen? Ugh, so hungry! I'm about to starve and die! I'm going to die before I can save the world! You're hungry too, aren't you? Oh, y yes, I, uh, uh, a, a little. Ah, hey, can't we just get something delivered? I'll get the cash from that fellow's wallet. I saw something that looked really good on TV before. I think it was called Jajang. Could you please be quiet? Do you have to show off how rude you are taking the wallet? You are no different from a thief. What, punk? A thief? Did you just call the justice warrior a thief? But look, if you talk too loud, Master Will... He's calling me a thief. Hey, you listen. I only said I'll take the money, not steal it. They are the same. What is the difference? They're different. From the start, she said she likes to buy us things. Shh, shh. You both are talking too loud. Master is going to wake up. She already looked tired last night. Yeah, both of you stop screaming in my ears. I have low blood pressure, and I don't want delivery food. My skin is sensitive, and I have to watch what I eat. So, Tay, a home meal for me, please. Oh, they did come to life, didn't they? It seems I've naturally become the cook. Well, okay, but first, talk after you've peeled off that facial mask. She already looks surprised. The man in an apron called Tay raises a ladle and points at me. She turned paler after seeing your face with that facial mask, Yuri. Oh. Okay. All eyes turned on me at once. So, what is happening right now? The man in the apron and bandana holding a ladle looks like Tay. The frowning man sitting at the table with his finger on his forehead is a carbon copy of Lance. The young man scratching the back of his head with an apologetic face had the same color hair as red. The one calmly sitting at the table with his two hands gathered on his knees had Yun Ho's eyes. The tall one smoothing out the facial mask on his face. Is it really Yuri? But wait, isn't that hairband mine? Oh, Master, I apologize. We were a bit noisy just now, weren't we? The kid who looks like Yun Ho and I made contact. What? Ma master? He's right. Red and Lance, be sorry. It's going to take a while to cook the food. Won't you sit here since you've woken up? What did I do? He's the one who started the fight. He won't even let me wake that fellow up, bugging me for every single tiny thing. That is because you were about to jump into the bed. Ugh, never mind. You have no sense of your own wrongdoings. I apologize if we woke you up. The one who looks like Lance slightly bowed his head to me. Just in time. I was about to ask something. Is there an onion hair dryer in this house? You are, after all, a girl. You should have something similar. Well, your hair is kind of cute, all soft and fuzzy like a squirrel. I think I'm dreaming a lot lately. Am I getting weak? I pinch my cheek with my eyes still on the boys in front of me. It hurts. I pinch the other side, too. It hurts twice as much. <laughs> That's enough self-mutilation for the morning. You'll be late if you don't get yourself together and start getting ready. Yo, you listening to me? Come here. There's an empty seat next to me. Let's see it together. You always eat crappy food or nothing at all. That won't do. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You can't fight for justice without it. Yes, Master. You always end up eating toast. You're hardly... You are already so weak. I've always worried about your eating habits. Now, now. The baby cubs are worried sick, so sit down. Or do you want to sit on my lap? The tall man drags me towards the table. Uh... uh... What is that blank look? But how about getting changed first if you're going to sit at the table? The silver-haired boy who looks exactly like Lance spoke to me. What? Are there not table manners? I wish you would care about your manners even if it is still home. It's enough with that redhead over there with his hideous clothes. What'd you say? What about my clothes? Are you being serious? Then I apologize. I've overestimated you. I at least assumed that you possessed a thinking albeit empty head. This proves that I'm a warrior of justice, and I do have a head. What are you say? Now, wait, Red. Don't flip the table over just because you're mad. 
Everyone's getting grouchy because they're hungry. Now, everyone, here's your meal. Oh, the plating is actually really fantastic, Tay. You have a good eye. I like it. Thanks, Yuri. I feel, I feel good hearing that coming from you. Now I've made plenty, so everyone, eat up. Master, sit here. Huh? Oh, okay. Aww, Yunho is so cute. Why are you smiling? It's like a dream come true sitting here together and eating breakfast with you. The cute kid resembling Yunho handed me a spoon, and then he wrapped his small soft hands around mine. Being able to hold these hands that have always caressed me, Master. This can't be a dream, can it? In his clear and bright eyes were pure happiness. This kid, he's so lovely. I unconsciously hold my hand, hold up my hand and stroke his head. His soft hair twining around my hand feels good, felt good. This really isn't a dream. Yeah, it really isn't a dream. What? This isn't a dream? I suddenly stood up. Yunho shrank back in fear and my chair fell down with a bang. Uh, I thought you were too calm. Here we go. Y you guys! What, what the hell? Who are you? Huh? I thought you already knew. Okay, I'll introduce myself. Listen, alright? I'm the defender of the earth fighting for justice. The sacred name is Red. I'm Red. And I'm the captain of this group. Ahem. Red? Those clothes are in, the, in the same Red. In the name Red. My, my, my doll Red. Yes, you are correct. So, you're saying you're that doll? Yeah, that's what I said. No way! Shut up! Why not? I'm telling the truth. Why don't you believe me? But a doll moving, coming to life, how am I supposed to believe that? <sighs> I cannot agree that that guy over there is our leader, but we are your dolls, so please calm down. Yeah, I understand you're surprised, but get yourself together. Yunho over there here is about to cry. The boy still covered coward and stiff was about to break into tears. He looked at me with his wet eyes and spoke to me. I, um, I, I thought Master would be happy if we came to life. I was wrong. Oh no, he's crying. Well, wait, that's not it. I, my honey. Now, I love everything about you, my dear, but making kids cry isn't really acceptable, so I think you should comfort Yunho now. What? My, what? Stop crying now, Yunho. I know you're a bit confused right now, but why don't we eat first? Breakfast is getting cold. I see steaming hot soup and glossy rice on the table. Ever since Grandpa died, I haven't seen such a well-prepared breakfast table. Living by myself afterwards, I just couldn't be bothered to eat breakfast. I know exactly what you mean. I am like this too. Ever since living by myself, I rarely ate rice and just bought bento boxes or bread from convenience stores. But I'm also not used to eating breakfast with this many people. Yeah, a lot of people. And what's more, a lot of... boys. Wait. I suddenly stood up again, and slowly I check how I look. Even if I ignored the messy hair disheveled from sleep, my clothes were disastrous. My pajamas were a ridiculously juvenile bear print dress I had bought on the street five years ago. There were even holes here and there. And inside the pajamas... Brawless. Aspiring to be a free soul, I always took off my underwear at home and enjoyed living by myself. Do I actually look like this in front of these five? No way! Ah! <laughs> what a lively morning. Okay. After panicking for a while, I quickly went back to my room to change into better clothes and came back to the living room. And then I came to life. After I came back, Red explained to me what had happened. So what are you trying to say? That you were on the shelf until yesterday, but woke up to find yourself a human being? Yes. How? I've just told you. Something just popped up and whisked like this. I had no idea what he was saying. <sighs> you just had to talk like that. What a stupid explanation. Hey, what about what I just said? Then do you know? How about the reason we became humans? There's no one among us who can explain that. Even I don't really understand what happened to us. But as Red said, I remember something touching our bodies. I remember too. As soon as it touched us, we were surrounded by light, and when I opened my eyes afterwards, I had a human body. So no one can explain why we came to life, but one thing is for sure. Yuri walked towards me with his long legs. Human or not, our owner is you. Only you. My one and only. My owner. He Man, he's a flirt! What the fuck? Yuri raised my chin as he spoke. Up close, he's really... so... 
cute. What? Uh, what? I accidentally spoke my mind while blankly staring at him. Luckily, Yuri seemed to have missed it. Didn't you say something just now? Yuri raised my chin and pulled my face toward his. He was not as small as when he was a doll. My heart started pounding to see such a beauty up close. And he's not just a beauty, he's a man! Oh, uh, it, it was nothing. I shook off his hand at this thought. Now that I think about it, Yuri is first and foremost a man. I've never been this close to a guy other than Grandpa and Dad. After being aware of this, my heart started to beat faster. My face is probably red, too. Ah, this is embarrassing. Oh my god, my honey, are you being shy? I, I was just surprised. Yuri seemed to put on a serious face, but soon shrugged it off and came back to his usual self. But there's something odd. What is it? If you guys are the dolls, then what are those? All the dolls in my room are what they were before. I point towards my room. I checked with my own while... I checked on my own while getting dressed. On the shelf were five dolls as usual. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but I think our bodies remain the same. You can say that we are the souls of those dolls. The soul? Yes, those dolls over there are no more than empty shells. The real us are standing right here. I believe the consciousness in the dolls materialized into human figures. The consciousness? What? I can't understand what he means. Knowing what I'm thinking, Lance frowned a bit and started to explain more. To put it simple, the two souls inside the dolls turned into human bodies. Of course, I do not know why. But what kind of fantasy is that? So now that they're human, the dolls are useless? No, although they are just shells, they are the bodies, so whatever happens, you must be careful of something. Be careful of what? If the body is damaged, then our human bodies are injured as well. What? Just as I said, I don't know how it exactly works, but if the doll bodies are in danger, we are affected too. We've already tested by pricking red with a needle, so this is an absolute fact. Hey, that was not a test, it was torture! You guys seized my arms and cruelly forced me to- Ugh! He scowled and buried his face in his hands as if recalling something horrendous. So... My dolls have come alive and are standing right in front of me. Is this it? This is real and not a dream? Lance was staring at me and our eyes met. Why? Nothing. You were looking very stupid, although it did suit you. What? Stu stupid? Ugh, are you really my doll? What happened to the Prince Charming I'd imagined? Who is this jerk in front of my eyes? I've come to realize that these five boys are very different from what I had pictured. Especially Lance. Talking with my dolls was something I've always dreamed of. I was indeed a bit disappointed at their cold attitudes. I feel like the reason why it says especially Lance is because he's the last one I picked. <laughs> we do not know anything for certain right now. Why we came to the have these bodies, whether or not it is temporary. So we must not be haste from now on. For a while, we shall calmly observe our situations. As he finished his words, Lance looked at me. I just sat there listening to what he was saying and stared blankly at those unrealistic moving lips. I'm sure you were quite shocked to see us like this, but at least for now, you are our owner, so please bear with us. If things do not work out, we will search for ways to move out of this house. Why? I don't want to leave. I want to live with her. I had so many things I wanted to do if I turned human. Hey, same for you, right? Let's live together. I'll make every single day fun. Oh, you're quite bold, Red. There's a perv sneaking underneath that innocent face of yours. How good it is to be young. Um, I want to be with Master too. Master is our owner, and I think it doesn't make sense for us to live apart. Even if you all dis disagree, I I won't budge this time. Yon Ho, calm down. Relax your hands. No one told you to get out of here. Yon Ho slightly relaxed at Tay's words. You all are quite peaceful when we do not know how long this will last. Are you all stupid? On second thought, your heads are already empty. It's the same for you, too. Now, now, stop. Whether or not we stay here depends on the house owner. Tay approached me. I know this will be a burden, but will you let us stay here? You are the only person we know. Huh, but, but... His soft and sincere voice melts my ears. Tay is... exactly as I had imagined. I actually wanted to kick all of them out and want to live here just with you, but I will ask anyways. Please, Master, don't abandon us. Ugh, don't look at me with those puppy dog eyes! I soften after seeing Yunho's watery eyes. Alright, but you guys really have to behave yourselves. There's nothing I can say if the neighbors find out. Don't worry! Hooray! Alright, this is our headquarters room today! Headquarters! They were loud as soon as I was done talking. 
All right. Um, I think I'm gonna end it here for now. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused, but uh, I think that's the point. So, yeah, okay, I guess uh, the dolls really did come to life, but it didn't have the same kind of explanation as it did with Dandelion, which is interesting, but it seems like it could potentially be similar, so I guess we'll see what happens. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Later! Mm -hmm.